After working together with Belvoir over the fall and winter, Swaggerty felt the 2009 season could be successful. I certainly hoped so. I had no idea if it would work or not, but I told my wife uh, before the season started that uh, with the horses and the amount of money we put into it, we'd have to we'd have to make hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars or else I'd have to change the strategy totally and then we went on and did better than that so uh, from that standpoint I hoped it would be good I had no idea that it would be as good as it was not a chance Hollywood Harbor was Emerald Downs top two-year-old male last year losing only once that was to Swag Stables Foreigner on Father's Day of course, Foreigner was just a, was a, just a pleasure. Uh, we knew we had something special with Foreigner as uh, he started working out and competing with some of our other horses. Almost ran over one uh, early that we'd given a oh, eighth of a mile lead, and poor Galen was right on top of the horse, almost crashed in, and we couldn't believe it. And, and we knew we had something. The very first race it had uh, was. Uh, scary to me because it was only a five furlong race made in special and we were afraid the race was going to be just too fast and we didn't want to train a good horse just to blast out and uh, not prepare for the future but we drew the eighth hole so we were on the outside and so now we said oh we're going for it but that day it was a gorgeous day until 20 30 minutes before the race and this tremendous uh, tremendous storm came in it was blowing tents down and raining like crazy thank heavens van had uh, two grooms on foreigner bringing him in got him out to the track and uh, anyway to see him win that first race uh, within nine seconds he had passed uh, everybody from the eighth uh, hole all the way to the rail and then just kind of coasted in from there and so that was a special day and then to see him do it a second time uh, was very rewarding so it's going to be exciting next year i have no idea how far the horse can run or uh, but he'll be as a three-year-old the horses change a lot from two to three and you never really know but uh, we'll be challenging right away that's for sure foreigner created national interest after his impressive maiden debut and he also came back four weeks later to win by nine lengths. His time that day of 103 flat was the fastest five and a half furlongs for a juvenile at the meeting. And look at Furner just going on and on and on. And now we know who's the best two-year-old at Emerald Downs. And by how far? Maybe 10 lengths. Furner will win by seven and a half. Foreigner soon got on a plane to Saratoga for a prospective sale. People were interested in the horse, um, and we had some very nice offers, and then I had one from, uh, I wanted to keep a portion of the horse. Who knows if you're ever gonna get another horse like this again, but all the other uh, people who made some nice offers wanted 100% or nothing. Somebody in New York was gonna allow me to keep 40% and uh, take an option on the horse. So we sent the horse back, hopeful, to, uh, the hopeful, <laughs> we were hoping to run in the hopeful uh, as the biggest two-year-old race of the year up until that time. Uh, but they didn't take the option in New York, sent the horse back, we have it, and I just turned it out at that point. Another stable star was No Flies on Doodle whose first stakes victory was a couple of races before Foreigner's win on July 19th, a banner day for Swag Stables. No flies on Doodles in the lead by a nectar point of reference who's not getting there yet. Crocodile Tuff in third. No flies on Doodles still in front. Point of reference has had every chance, the length of the stretch, and she can't do it. No flies on Doodle comes right away in a terrific performance by No Flies on Doodle, who wins by a length and a half. Van's the trainer, but Swaggerty's been around a while now and put some good thoughts in everybody's head leading up to that Washington's lottery handicap. We think we're gonna sit behind these speed horses. I said, but what if, so, some, who's gonna go with Lady to do was the question. And we all thought the one inside was, but I said, what if she doesn't get off well? What if their strategy is to stay back? I said, are we committed to go out and challenge her because she hasn't been challenged? And I said, we have to be ready. We gotta go for it if, 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 if that's the scenario. And sure enough, uh, Lady Ledoux gets out. The other horse 
uh, doesn't. For whatever reason, I don't know. Anyway, and that's when uh, No Flies and Duel went out and challenged uh, uh, Lady Ledoux, took the lead and just kept it for the whole race. The Swaggerty Belvoir relationship is also a friendship. Van and I communicate. Uh, we love athletics, and we love competition, and I suppose this is a, an outlet for me to be involved in, in sports since I'm not coaching anymore, can't play myself. Uh, Van studies the form as I would study a form because I'm in finance as well. Uh, the thing that I really love about Van that works for me uh, I'm not saying it would work in the huge big time where they have hundreds of horses to run through and you have one system and if your horse fits into the system it will be very successful. But here we don't have, we, I can't run through a hundred horses. Uh, Van has found a way uh, for almost every horse to be successful. Van Belvoir seemingly has found the ideal client. Well Keith, Keith is, you know, he's like family and it's uh, we have a good working relationship, you know, he's easy to work for, you know, he's been a coach himself and a trainer, but they basically like being a coach, so he lets me do what I want with the players, you know, and that makes a difference. And we strategize a lot, you know, where, what we think our horses are worth, where we can place them, and, you know, that's part of the fun of the game, and he loves that part, and, and so, you know, we watch the morning workouts, and, you know, we go off where we think, what, you know, what they've been working with, and what we think their value is, and then we, you know, place them in a spot where we can be competitive. Swaggerty also gets to watch the kids, the weanlings, grow up right outside his living room window, just a block away from the farm. I have an extended uh, farm situation. Down at my home, uh, I keep the babies. Uh, so the ones that are, after we separate them from the mothers, they come down at four, five, six months old. We bring them all together and then they grow up as a little herd and they play and run around and grow up and challenge each other. You watch them have races every night around and around and you watch some that just are steady, some that have sprints, some cheat to win. They'll do everything, they're, they're, they're characters. Swag Stables won at a very impressive 36% rate in 2009 and Belvoir's overall barn tallied at a lofty 26%. Swaggerty is loving the game, and Belvoir summed up what both are thinking. 2010, we're looking forward to, for sure. Can't wait.